again and welcome to another episode of Isn't Rocket Surgery. I'm Jeff Moriarty and I'm here again with... Mm. Oh, sorry, Evo Terra. Hi, everyone. So, our question today, Evo, is publishing related, yes. Yes, publishing related. We're talking about Penguin's book, Country. New services that they've provided for authors that they're charging for is book, Country, Evil, Corporate Greed, or is it actually a good deal for authors? So, what is Penguin Book Country? Is it a place for books and authors to go and frolic in the sunlight in the dappled meadows? Not that kind of country, mm. Jeff. Penguin Book Country is an online community resources for writers, and recently they've just released some of these new DIFM Do It For Me services where they will take manuscripts and get those published for the authors, taking a percentage of the sales once that's happened, and also charging for their upfront services. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. You see, it's do it for me, so authors who don't want to do that upfront work, they take care of all that editing and so on. Uh, so why do people think it's evil? Have they killed babies? Have nuns been ravaged in some way? What's the evil component here? Not that's been reported yet, but it's still early in the process. They have plenty of time. The biggest challenge right now is all of the services that Penguin is offering to independent authors. Right are services that authors can go out and source themselves. You can find an editor, you can find an interior designer, you can find a cover artist, and these people are out there schlepping their wares that you could go through and get. If you do that on your own, you pay them the one-time fee, those individual people, and then whatever you do with the book afterwards is completely and totally up to you. The challenge is that Penguin is double-dipping. They are charging up front for the services, and they're charging a percentage of the sales when those electronic books are sold from various marketplaces. That gets them the evil moniker for many authors. So then if you go through this, you are a Penguin book. So if your book is on Amazon, does Amazon take its part, and then Penguin takes a part off of that as well? That, that's exactly what happens. Penguin is going to, or I'm, Amazon is going to pay their percentage or 70% if that's what you're pricing it properly. Uh, and then Penguin gets that money directly and they will then return a portion of that. And it's a healthy portion of that. I've, I've heard rumors that it's upwards of the 70, 80% number. So it's a, it's a, the most, uh, or the majority of, of the sales. But again, the complaint is that had you done this all on your own, you would have wound up with a book also on Amazon.com and you would have owed a publisher absolutely nothing. Okay. So what book authors should look at this? This is a great deal, I think, for authors who have no idea how to start the process. Authors who probably haven't heard of something called e-publish unum. So those authors who don't want to do all of this on their own, who want to have someone else do all of the work for them and just simply want to write the, tr the traditional classic style of an author, this is a good option for them to take a look at because as opposed to losing 90% of your profits, which typically happens when you get a book contract, it's a much smaller deal than that. But for an author who's willing to put in the extra work, really assume the editing and, and talk to graphic designers and do all the work for themselves, probably not necessary and not a lot of value. Definitely right. For the author who is educated and understands digital publishing, not just from writing and editing and, and publishing, which they will help with the editing and publishing phase, but also from the promotional aspect and the interaction aspect. You have to do that on your own anyhow. Uh, even through Penguin, they're not helping you with those particular uh, options. So you still have to take a lot of the work on yourself. It's how much. Where do you want to spend your time, energy, and effort? Do you just want to write and then get into promoting and interacting, or do you wish to also take ownership of the rest of it as well? So, Penguin Book Country, good or evil? More of a middle of the road than anything. I don't think it's evil. Uh, I think you go into it eyes wide open, understand exactly what you're getting yourself into. And if that's what you need, if that's how you're going to find success, I think it can work out just fine. And that isn't rocket surgery. <laughs>